we welcome you guys to the Night Tour, where the featured course is a city course, and I'm kind of hyped. What's good, guys? I'm Arya Magadam, and today we are going to play the Night Tour. Last time, we played the Mario vs. Luigi Tour, and I did a team rally. So, let's see who won. I played on Team Mario. Let's see who won. Yes, sir! Mario for the win! It was a close race, though. 52 to 48. So what happens if we win? 15 rubies. 3,000 coins. One badge! Let's go! The badge was a huge plus. Let's go! I'll take those collectibles. The Team Mario dub. Well, that's a wrap for the Team Rally. We hope you enjoy the upcoming tours. I sure will. This tour is going to be good, though. The night tour, it is. As there's a lot of content that we got to cover. A lot of content that features a lot of city tracks. And I finished fourth in the tier ranking. So I get some prizes, but not as much as third and second. It, that time it was pretty competitive. Unlike last time, but you know what they say. It's pretty all right. So, first time DK is a variant character as he's, I've heard, called Donkey Kong Gladiator. What is his power-up? Oh, it's the boomerang flower. I was thinking it would be like some hammer or mega banana, like his regular variant. But, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Okay. I respect it. So, we begin this turn. It's going to be a hype tour. Let's just see what's here. As far as I'm seeing, Moon Yu Highway is in this too. And if it says we, oh yeah, sure does. Look at that. Mario Kart Tour is bringing back Wii Tracks. And I am so happy. I am so thrilled. They're bringing back all the Wii Tracks. And Vancouver Velocity is in it. Vancouver Velocity 2. I saw Singapore C Speedway. Oh man, this is going to be a fun tour, guys and gals. This is going to be a fun tour. All right, I got my list of races right here for you guys. And we're going to be playing them in this order. Stay tuned for that. We play regular and trick variants and try to get first place in all of them. All right, let's begin our quest in the night tour. The first track on our list is the featured track, Rome Avanti. Avanti means... Onward in Italian, and I like the course name. Rome Avanti. Onward in Rome. And look who's a featured character. DK Gladiator and DK himself. So, we're going to discover the city of Rome. And I think this tour is called the Night Tour because there's a lot of night-themed city tracks. And Moonview Highway, of course. Moonview Highway is taking place at night as well. So, we're going with DK. Because he's the featured character for this track. And the gold 8-bit pipe frame has been a very useful cart of late. And we may want to use the royal oil paper. But this is the glider that I've taken the most care of. The question block glider. And it goes good with his setting. Alright, let's go to Rome. And discover Rome Avanti. And go avanti -ing. So we glide on the Colosseum. Beautiful landscaping in this. And there's the... I forgot what that monument's called. It starts with a P. I'm going to put it right here. That's what it's called. But it's a beautiful looking track. And here we go. Let's listen to the song. I'm digging it. It's pretty good. I like this song. <laughs> it's very Italian themed. Pretty light, pretty cool. Oh man, the sights in this course look pretty exhilarating. You still got those Yoshis cheering for you like they do in other city tracks. Oh, and their arrows, European style signs. And some nice chandeliers, and there's a toad, and there's the starting line once again. I think I saw a uh, Romavanti 2 show up as well. There's probably like a second part to this. 
Definitely this looks cool so far. And the super bats are once again an obstacle, just like in Athens Dash. I remember in Athens Dash, we see a lot of those. As we go on to the Colosseum, one of the most iconic landmarks in the world. This part looks beautiful. Probably the most beautiful part of the track, just entering the town and just discovering the sights of Italy. And en route to another decisive first place dub to kick things off in this tour with DK being our guest. Let's go, DK! One last look of the Colosseum. Oh man, <laughs> they did a good job of executing the Colosseum perfectly. Beautiful looking track. I'm liking these city tours once again. As these city tours, these they bring back these cool European themed tracks and I'm enjoying them. So that's out of the way. We got the trick variant coming up soon. We're gonna discover what they do to Rome. Will they put ramps up the Colosseum's towers? Or what will they do? Some ramps somewhere else. I'm making it stuff up. We just have to find out and see what it is. Before we play that, we're gonna try and change our badge. Because we used that badge in the last tour. What badge should we use? Uh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to stick with this badge. This badge looks very cool. It's a classic Mario Kart badge. I'm going to use it for this, just for this tour. And it has some blue texturing around it to symbolize. Oh, I'm going to relate it to the night tour that we're playing right now. So that's perfect. So let's go find Rome Avanti T. Let's go use some quick tickets while we're at it. Oh, they brought back Waluigi Stadium too. Huh, that's cool. Waluigi Stadium's in this tour as well. Back-to-back -back tours, Waluigi Stadium is seen. That's a very interesting coincidence. Ah, and there it is, Rome Avanti T. Who's our guests? A couple of me racing suits, a coupling suit, and Bowser suit. We're gonna use the Bowser suit. All right, let's dive into it. And this is the card I unlocked in the ranking event last time, the Waluigi Racer Mach 2. Sticking with this one. And just like last time, we're going to use the question glider, even though we don't have a top shelf glider. So we're going to stick with this one and we're underway in this one. I'm so not used to seeing teams anymore. <laughs> I was so used to seeing red and yellow, red and green. But so far as to what I'm seeing, this looks pretty cool. A lot of nice ramps. I kind of made that point earlier about the teams thing because I was so used to the Mario vs. Luigi tour and the team battle thing, but now we got to go solo. That's the traditional way of playing this game. And here we go in the Rome of Anti T track. Oh, that's a great view of the Colosseum, what you guys just saw. And we go above it, and I have the Bowser shell, as I forget, but someone's got a lucky seven. Thank you for the lucky seven. So, T tracks are going to be a problem, but we'll have to see. Yeah, that's your payback point. Good job, Mega Mushrooming him. I'm playing as Yuya from Wii Sports Club, by the way, for you guys who don't know who this Mii character is. This is Yuya from Wii Sports Club. He was the Mii I selected for the Bowser Mii racing suit and for a couple of other Mii racing suits that I selected just because he's a kind, daring guy. Japanese is his nationality. And we're on our second lap. Let's see how we do. So far, pretty good looking trick variants. They put the ramps. It's very possible you can get a non-stop combo with a very high combo counted player for sure. As the statue divides between two gliders. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And you gotta get these question blocks. I think we're close to the finish line. Yep. I think we're in the clear. Oh yeah, that red shell ain't stopping us. Let's go! It stopped us at the end, but it doesn't matter. We did it! Rome Avanti! We went onward! And did we ever? Two straight dubs in the regular and trick variants. Great way to start off the episode.
So that's Rome Avanti for you guys. That is a beautiful looking track. 10 out of 10. I can't wait to see what Moonview Highway is up for. Because Moonview Highway is the next race on our list. A Wii originated track is always a lot of hype. So we're going to see what that one's all about. Okay, here it is. It is time we discover Moonview Highway in Mario Kart Tour. I haven't played this track in so long, and I remember the days when I played the Wii. I kept getting hit by cars, crushed by cars, and hitting that stupid bob car that always wondered, why does this thing explode? Because I was a kid and I didn't know shit. And I was wondering, why does that car explode and not the other cars? So, here we are. Let's go discover Moonview Highway, shall we? And Poochie would be our kind guest. He was a character that I used a lot in the previous tour, so he'll be of help here. I'm so glad Poochie's a frenzy character in this course. And the jukebox buggy was advertised at the beginning. I saw the jukebox buggy driven by somebody. We're gonna use the jukebox buggy. And this little glider, the super glider, because it's our only option. Okay, Poochie, let's guide us through Moonview Highway and see what is up at this place. Let's see what they did. Beautiful looking. Oh my god, this looks good already. Oh my The night sky looks more better than ever. Oh, and they even have a label for Moonview Highway. Wow. I don't remember that This was the second course in Mario Kart Wii in the special cup to be specific This was the second course in the special cup in the Wii And let's see what the song sounds like. I don't remember it Yeah, this is what it sounded like it wasn't a song that caught my attention right away, but this is what it sounds like. It's a decent song. But the track layout, oh my! Oh my, I love this track already. Holy cow. And the bob -omb car, I just saw a bob -omb car. Oh, and you just hit cars. Oh, that's lame. Oh, and that beeps? No way! It didn't beep before. Actually, it did, but it made a lighter sound. That, made, that was, like, so loud. Let's hear it again when we get to another one of those. But this is the tunnel portion. Here's my lucky seven. It makes a beeping sound when, like, one uh, triggers the gate thing. Now, my question is, since I have a mushroom... Can I go up here? Oh, yes, I can! It's the ultimate shortcut area that I... It was always an option in the Wii. And I remember this part was the hardest turn of the game because the cars can go in all directions and you don't have any sight distance of where you're going. Let's hear the beeps. Mm -hmm. It makes a rather unique beep sound. Now, let's see the billboard. Oh, it's Mario and Peach. But a more modernized looking sign. I remember it was Mario and Peach before, too. I bet in some pictures after I finish the two races, I'm going to show you some footage of the race. But we just got a first place dub. Let's go, baby! Hoochie, another first place dub. But this time in a very new track for him. Moonview Highway. Oh, man. I am so glad Mario Kart Tour is bringing back Wii tracks. Look at this track, it's amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy they brought it. They modernized it and made it better. And they even added some cool touches to it, like that beeping sound you heard when we entered that area. Shy guys operate the booths and it says Moonview Highway on it. Now let's look at that sign. It says the musical. Apparently it was a musical, I never knew that. Because I always went by so fast past that billboard. And I never thought it would be a musical. That's a pretty cool touch. I'm liking it. I want to see what a trick variant of this very track does for me. Will it be more exciting? Or will it just be hell like it always was? 
because Moonview Highway is in the Special Cup, one of the hardest cups in the Mario Kart Wii. So we'll have to see if it lives through the tradition of it being a challenge or just a Mario Kart Tour type of challenge. So we find it in the Luigi Cup, the trick variant of Moonview Highway, and Luigi is our frenzy character, and he's our only option. So no other choice than picking the brother of Mario. Yes, sir. And we got the bad wagon. I'm gonna go with the bad wagon. Even though the golden hot rod has helped me before. And the paper glider. Let's see what a trick variant of Moonview Highway has for us. So you get easier access to the top. Tricks you can make on those platforms. The cars avoid the ramps, obviously, because they got business to do. And the cars do U-turns around the ramps. So they don't run into the unexpected obstacles that this trick variant has. So here we go in the trick variant of Moonview Highway. And that's easy to fall off apparently. So you don't want to fall off that. And you're forced to go overboard, which is interesting. So we're forced to go over the water or like the dangerous ravine that's over there. And there's a little ramp on this bridge. Let's see if I can snipe somebody. Oh, nope, didn't hit anybody. Oh, and you go over the bridge. Oh my, that's a cool touch. I like that. Never know what's on top of the bridge until now. And then the tunnel, let's see what they did to the tunnel. Some ramps here, but there's a lot of dash panels. The tunnel is always a dash panel section. And that's it for one lap of Moonview Highway T, but let's see what another lap brings for us. Can I at least stay on this platform? Unlike last time. Okay, so just like that shortcut I pointed out earlier, that's like another alternate route you can take. I'm glad they kept that. Now the bridge area. You can do a couple of tricks there, here and there. Oh, I got a coin frenzy. These are really good. These are really good frenzies. And you get to go over the bridge. Honestly, the highlight of this, you get to go over the bridge and see what's on that bridge. Like, who's on there? Is it like the Las Vegas Strip where there's a lot of people just walking on top of it? And a bunch of Mario Carters just going underneath? Could be something like that. Oh, and here's the bob -omb car. I haven't hit a bob -omb car yet, interestingly. And we just clutched it again. We have not lost yet. Luigi keeps the streak going, and Moonview Highway T was a blast. Let's go, Lou. We did it. Moonview Highway was a lot of fun. Now, if that was fun, those next races we're going to do are even going to be more fun. So I'm kind of excited. This tour was going to be great. And I say that all the time, tours are gonna be great, but they brought back some races that I really enjoyed they brought back. So this was definitely one of them. So for sure, I'm excited. Stay tuned for the next few tracks we play. Our next stop in the tour is New York. I have not played this track since the beginning of my experience of playing Mario Kart Tour. The first ever track they brought and introduced to the game was New York Minutes. And that was the first time I've ever played it and I haven't played another variant of it ever since. So it's time to bring back some good old memories playing this race. I remember it had a nice saxophone rhythm, but we're gonna see if we can hear it again. And I recently unlocked the Monty Mole, even though we got some me racing suits as options. But I'm gonna stick with Monty Mole. I have never raced with him in a recorded video, so we're gonna go with him for the first time. Monty Mole will be our guest. And we're gonna go with the Soda Jet. 
and the star shoot. I love the using the star shoot. Got ourselves a little setup here for New York Minute. Let's see if I can remember what this track was all about. Oh yes, Times Square with Mario themed looking buildings. Central Park, we get to go in there. Oh man, the graphics are there. I still remember it. I still definitely remember this track. Oh my goodness, I haven't played it in so long. Here we go. It's very New York y rhythm. Oh, you got a Yoshi egg. I'm out of here. Ah, god damn it. I'm just a Monty Mole. And we go underneath the bridge that we just crossed, which is pretty interesting. I don't remember that. And like other variants of New York Minute, you can like go into other areas of this uh, New York City, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, and I remember the manholes spawn water. You can do tricks on them. Oh my goodness. Oh, I definitely remember that. After seeing it, yeah. And Monty Mole's special power-up is a mushroom cannon. It's pretty dope. Now we're in Central Park. This is what you get. We're not in first place. We gotta see if we can get some comeback here. One green shell in third place is not good, though. Okay, these manholes can either be to your benefit or slow you down. Let's see how it does here. Okay, a bomb frenzy isn't the greatest considering the fact that we're already at the end. So we gotta do that again. But that was fun. It was good at playing that track again just to make myself familiar with what that track was all about. We're gonna do that one more time just to see if we can get a first place. After all, first place is the only way we can get past these courses. So we're gonna do that again. Same lobby. Here we go. Okay, everyone's got a power up behind their ass. Use your power ups, please. It's stupid how I keep getting hit by people with power ups behind their butts. Oh my god, again! Jesus Christ. New York is awful so far. I mean, I think that's how it always has been with cars and traffic. Drivers are awful over there, and it kind of relates to people having powers behind their butts. It's stupid. Again, power behind their butts, even though I negated it. Nope, you don't throw that today. In fact, I got a red shell for you. Okay, we got to get some ground here. In fact, I got the power up behind my ass, too. If I can hit somebody with it. Yep. Oh, I can't see shit. Ugh. Stupid blooper ink. Oh, mushroom frenzy. Can I catch up? I will get second, but that green shy guy was so far ahead, it didn't even matter. So, Monty Mole, you get another shot at trying to play this race. I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep trying until I get that first. I'm going to try a different lobby, though. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's do this for a third time. Here we go, back to New York Minutes. Got a lot of New York themed characters like Top Hat Mario. Actually, that's Musician Mario. Luigi Chef. There's a lot of good chefs in New York. The food's really good. Honestly, the highlight of New York, even though I've never been there before, the food is really good. I've tried New York steak. Take my breath away, it's just so good. <laughs> the food is really good. Honestly, anything, if you think about it, there's a lot to do in New York. New York is a busy city, and it lives up to the name. And these drivers are busy trying to get first place. So, when you're in New York, you're constantly doing something, as to what I've done my research on in the past. You're constantly doing something, like, there's always something to do, like some concert, some show, some, you know, some nightclub hosting a party. And some other jazz. And blue shells too. A blue shell is part of the tradition of New York as well. Thank you for that. 
Well, at least I'm still in first, though, so that's good. That's our first blue shell hit of the episode. It was kind of rare getting hit by blue shells in the previous turn because we were on teams. But now we're on solo, so it's easier, which is kind of the bad thing. Because I hate blue shells. But I think we're in the clear as long as we don't get hit by anything. Oh, you tried! You tried! Ha ha! Sucker! You tried to bob on me? I don't think so. Monty Mole, as he gets shocked by lightning, passes the line and outs that Mario. Well, take a look at that scene. Look at those buildings over there. Well, oh, there's a reason why they called us the Night Turd. You're going to see a lot of bright lights. Speaking of lights, I feel like Mario Kart 2 needs to bring a Las Vegas themed track. Even though they brought Rome, next time they do a Night Turd, I think they should bring a Las Vegas themed track. Oh man, that would be so good. Considering the fact that Las Vegas isn't far from where I live, it's just an 11 hour drive. Yes, you think 11 hours is a lot. Think about how New York is from my, where I live. It's three hours. It's three days, excuse me, three days. So yeah, I feel like they need to bring Las Vegas to this uh, tour someday. Maybe call it like Las Vegas Lights or something. I'm not the creator of the game when it comes to that stuff, but I'll let them be the judge of it. I respect these courses they're bringing though. But that's a wrap from New York Minute. But we gotta do trick variant, of course. <laughs> we gotta do the trick variant after the regular variant. I always forget. In the King Boo Cup is where we find New York Minute T. All right, let's do it. So our characters are Dr. Mario, Mario Me Racing Suit, and Pink Shy Guy. I'm gonna stick with a Mario character for this one. I'm gonna go with Dr. Mario. I'm gonna stick with this cart, the Flame Flyer. Because I don't really like that, uh, even though it's a top end, bullseye, bonsai, I don't really like that with uh, Dr. Mario. So I'm going to go with this setup. And this little glider right here, the Peach Parasol. I've used it a lot before, I'm going to use it again. Alright, let's see what the trick variant has for us. Even though I haven't played it in a long time, let's see what they did. Just added some ramps here and there, and the manholes spawning water are going to be vital in this track. But still, same old New York. Let's hope no bullshit arrives. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Couple of mushrooms. Thanks for that, King Boo. Don't throw those behind you, please. Oh, you tried. You tried. Oh yeah, and there's a truck here that you can take a ramp off of. Gotcha. Ah. Once again, power's behind their butts. Release the damn power up, you dipshits. Oh god. I saw a mega mushroom sign showing up. I thought it was coming for me. And now I'm in third place. Oh, never mind. Ha <laughs> ha. I guess I am also the one with the power behind the butt to make sure somebody hits it. Just one green shell. I ain't cutting it though. Let's see how it does for us. I'm just gonna release it right here. I think we're in the clear. Oh yeah. No blue shells today. That was fun. 9990 is our score, too. Interesting score we got. We did it. New York Minute in the books. That was pretty fun remembering how that track was like since I haven't played it since when Tur even became a game. Because this was the very first city track they ever brought. And it was New York Minute. So that was fun experiencing it. Stay tuned for our next track we play. Our next track is Vancouver Velocity. That is a beautiful track name. And 
I remember that track being one of the most prettiest looking city tracks. I mean, all the city tracks look pretty, but like with the northern lights and just the landscaping of the beautiful city of Vancouver and the soundtrack. The soundtrack was always stuck in my head. It was never a song I hummed, but it was always, you know, something I could imagine it being stuck in my head. Like, it was such a well put together song. I really want to hear it again. That is the highlight of Vancouver Velocity. Its soundtrack is so good. So we're going to go into the Birdo Cup and play Vancouver Velocity. And since Vancouver is north of the border, we're going to go with Ice Bro. Ice Bro is the right choice for this one, in my opinion, just because he is icy and cool. Even though Koopa Trooper free running is cool, but I want to go with somebody more familiar. Ice Bro time. And we got... I'm going to go with the P-Wing. The P-Wing is a cool-looking cart, and it always has been a nice cart for me. So the P-Wing it is, and the Luma Parafoil. Okay, guys. Vancouver Velocity. Oh, man. I love the landscaping of this track. This is such a beautiful landscaping. And as a matter of fact, Toad and Yoshi were sitting on a bench enjoying it, if you saw one scene. All right, I'm gonna shut up and let you guys hear the song. Oh, here is the beat that I'm talking about. Man, it brings me goosebumps, this part. With this landscaping too, oh man. Equals that. And I just took the shortcut nicely. That's a nice shortcut, not gonna lie. Now let's actually analyze the track a little bit. That's a cool looking piece of ice sculpture. I think that's a real life thing too. But I've never heard of what it's called. Because I've never been to Vancouver before, but I've heard it's a beautiful city. They have a hockey team called the Canucks. Oh, and this is called the Suspension Bridge. I think that is a real thing, too. And those are where the Yoshi and Toad are enjoying the landscape. Oh, man, the Suspension Bridge really does look suspenseful. And here's the beautiful city of Vancouver with that little, with that big building over there. Oh yeah, you get ice by the ice bro. I still got second though, interestingly. I guess she slid over the goal line. What a win for baby peach, Shiru. I thought ice bro could do it. Ice bro couldn't. But I don't mind playing that again just to get a first place. That was a beautiful track with a beautiful song. I let you guys heard it. It was amazing. If you don't like it, then I don't know. Who, I don't know what kind of a person you are. You got some completely different taste than I do. That was a banger. That is a banger song out of all the city tracks I've ever heard. That's like a beautiful sounding song. We're doing it again just to get first place. Rough. I got a, a frenzy with Ice Bro for the first time. And we're heading on to the suspension bridge. You get ice. Ha ha, let's go. You got ice by the Ice Bro. That really is a suspension bridge. Oh my goodness. If they brought that in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, that's pretty easy to fall off. You gotta know your drifting skills in order to get past that area. 
Yep, you're not stopping me. I'm gonna keep one in reserve just in case. Okay, one banana. I'm just gonna get more power ups because one banana is not good. That's perfect. Ooh, a lot of bananas. Holy cow. Didn't expect Vancouver to be banana littered. It's a very clean town. But apparently Mario Kart decides, oh, we're going to litter your track just because we are just fighting for our lives for first place. So far, Ice Bro's doing that and leaving some bananas here. We're going to leave this behind us. I'm going to throw a four just to get a power up. Oh, no, my banana went in the water. But I think we're in the clear. Yep, we sure are. We certainly got that first place dub the very next try. Ice Bro clutches it in Vancouver Velocity at last. We're not done yet, though, with Vancouver Velocity. we are got to play the trick variant. I just love this track, though. I miss this track so much. I think they brought it in one tour. I think it was called the Winter Tour. I don't even remember what it was called. I think it was the Winter Tour. They introduced... Uh, Aurora Rosalina, I believe. It was like one Rosalina that they introduced. That is uh, the Rosalina that I'm talking about in that picture of Rome Avanti RT. They introduced that Rosalina in the game. And this is what she looks like. This is the Rosalina they introduced in that tour where they introduced Vancouver Velocity. I definitely remember that tour. So, stay tuned for the trick variant of Vancouver Velocity. In the second cup of the tour is where we find the Vancouver Velocity trick variant. Let's see who our frenzy characters are. So we got Birdo and Ice Mario. Ice Mario is perfect. Honestly, because we used Ice Bro last time, we're going to use another icy character here because we got that chill type of vibe when we play Vancouver Velocity. And we got this cart. It was an option last time, but I picked a different cart. The Streamliner would be a good choice, though. And the Luma Parafoil will once again help us. Second straight time we're using it. And here we go to that track. Not much difference, you know, they just spice things up a bit with some ramps. I'm liking that. Will it be any different though with the CPUs that we play against? We'll have to see. But the landscaping is still there and it's still a, one of the most beautiful tracks out of the city tracks that we've played. Considering if you're a nature most person and not all about busy downtown streets and here's our first ice frenzy it was about time we would get one we're icing everyone today you guys are iced not fired you guys are iced i remember when i used the fire flower with regular mario i said you guys are fired now i can say you guys are iced when i play as this mario boy this is ultra mini turbo mania if you can do it correctly in that suspension bridge area it's the best place to do those ultra mini turbos all right second lap holding first place let's see if we can do it all right coin frenzy here we go Here's our Ultra Mini Turbo. We got a banana, so we're good. You don't need to hit me with a shell. Oh, wow. In fact, the red shell's stupid enough to not notice I was there. Wow. Unlucky day for that person who threw that. And here's that another Ultra Mini Turbo. Oh, man, we got a huge lead. We got a huge lead. There's no question about it. We're going to clutch this one. What a race it was. And Ice Mario gets a 19k out of it. That is definitely a track you can get a lot of points in, for sure. A 19k. Almost 20k, too, actually. I was that close to getting 20k. But we did it. Doesn't matter at the end of the day. If I get first place, I get it out of the way. In fact, we did get 20k. I guess it boosted it up a little bit just because it was kind enough to give me that extra points. Thank you, game. We had a 61 in a row. Huh. I guess that's what happens when you have a coin frenzy and an ice ball frenzy. 
in one race. I had a 61 in a row and a 77 in a row for a total of 138. Yeah, that equaled that high score that we just got. So yeah, that made sense. Coming up next is a track I've never played before, but I'm looking forward to playing it. Stay tuned for that. Our last track for today is the Singapore Speedway track. I didn't play this one before, but I've heard it's good, like most city tracks. There's some cool landmarks in Singapore, but I'm not very familiar with any one of them. But we're going to discover what kind of cool stuff there is with the first time I'm ever playing this track. So let's see who our uh, Frenzy character is. And it's a Bronze Me racing suit. Sara from Wii Sports Club will be our guest. S-A-R-A. -A. Yes, that's how I pronounce the name. Sara. You guys may pronounce her Sarah, but you know, <laughs> that's how I pronounce it. So Sara will be our Frenzy character, and we got the jukebox buggy, the advertised cart in the tur, and the black great sail. Let's discover what the city of Singapore has in the night tour that we've played so far. Wow, already it looks beautiful. Oh, it's that big ass pool that is famous in Singapore. I remember there's like some pool that's like huge. I think that was what it was. Already this track looks beautiful. Considering it's a very tropical country, the city of Singapore brings that type of vibe. And let's hear the song. Not bad, I like it. Kinda lives through the tradition of the city. Oh, there's a cannon here. Wow, that's a cool looking cannon. Oh, and here's the pool that I'm talking about. Oh, and float Goombas, just like in 3D World. I remember these float Goombas in 3D World. And some jackass with a lucky seven. Oh, this looks cool. <laughs> There's a soccer field below us. Oh, and the fans are cheering for us instead of the soccer field. The people playing on the soccer field because no one's playing there. They're just cheering for us because they're nice. I like that, that's pretty cool. And we go one full lap around, but we are in for a competition. This is our trickiest track so far. And I'm stupid enough to even run into that. I was trying to drift, but I just blatantly hit that. But now we enter the mega pool. What are these Goombas called anyways? Floaty. Oh, so I get points for the floaty and the Goomba. Oh, cool. Ooh, boomerang frenzy. Let's see if it's enough. Let's see if it's enough. No, he passed the line. He passed the line. Are you kidding me? That close. Ah, Man, that's frustrating. That Koopa Troopa had a will to pass that line. But we got to do that again because we are not giving up. If you come so close, you feel like you can have another shot at doing it. And that's what I'm thinking. Let's see that floaty point. I want to see where it happened. Floaty is 56 points. Goomba itself is 59 points. So practically the same score as if you KO a Goomba. Pretty cool. But let's do that again. As we're in the back of the race. Which is never good. Not a bad song though for Singapore's tradition. All right, we got another boomerang flower. Let's go steal some coins from these guys, if we can at least. Eh, didn't matter. We had to get some power-ups, so that was a good choice. You get hit. Okay, let's see how we do here. A 
Okay, who's behind me? Oh no, I turned. Ugh. Okay, good thing we didn't use that green shell. Because there was a red after me. Oh, we're going to keep this behind me because we're going to get a power box. Float Goombas. I guess you could do tricks on these guys. But not recommended. Considering the fact that these racers are right behind my butt. I'm going to leave that there. Yep, I hit somebody for sure with that. Okay. One on one with this uh, finish line here. Come on, let's see. Yes, we do it. They were on our ass, but we did it. Singapore Speedway. My first ever dub in Singapore Speedway. There it is. That was a pretty difficult track, I must say. Consider the fact that my CPU racers were giving me troubles. But you know what they say. It's a good to add a little challenge to the game. That was kind of what that was. We got a trick variant to play next. And then that, I think that would be a wrap for this episode. So our final track for today is going to be Singapore Speedway Trick Variant. Let's see what this brings. And as for what I'm seeing in the thumbnail... There's like multitudinal cannons, which look pretty cool. I would be interested to see what that looks like. I would like to go with the bronze me racing suit again, but I noticed Swimwear Daisy is also a frenzy character, and she's a higher level than the bronze me racing suit. So we're going with Swimwear Daisy this time. And I'm not using the Turbo Yoshi. It doesn't go good with her. I'm sticking with this cart. I used it before, the Bad Wagon. She looks badass with it, not gonna lie. Bruh. <laughs> and... The 8-bit jumping Luigi. Let's get it. So, same orientation, just no float Goombas. And I think we're going to see those two cannons. They didn't show those two cannons. But we're going to see them right now. So, let's see how we do with Swimmer Daisy in Singapore. I actually see those two cannons. They're all the way to the left of me. Okay, let's see how we do. Oh, yeah, I have the triple banana. I didn't realize I have a triple banana. I thought I had a single banana. Oh, it's a dual cannon. Oh, and it tells you which direction to go. Huh. You got to make up your mind which cannon is the fortunate one. Okay, let's hit some people. Okay. Oh, and you get a pathway through the stands. That's pretty cool. Okay, some morons keep passing me, though. That's the problem. No, I threw those in the wrong direction. And I get red shelled as a result. I wanted to throw them to the right. I did not direct left, Daisy. My motions really are artificial sometimes. Okay, we got a red shell. Let's see how it does for us here. Oh, no, the power box came as soon as after I got launched. So I didn't get three power ups. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, good thing we had protection. Otherwise, that dude with the lucky seven almost got us. Ooh, almost hit myself with a banana. Uh, I don't think we're going to do it. Nope. In fact, some MFer wants to red shell me again. Go F yourself, please. I already struggled enough. You don't need to red shell me again. That's the third time I was going to get red shelled. Jesus Christ. That was pathetic. Okay, second attempt after a brutal first attempt. But I don't want to say it was too brutal. We had hope. It's just Daisy kind of screwed me on some t some possessions. Let's see how we do here. Okay, you guys are getting triple banana today. Interesting how no one hit those. Well, whatever. Okay, two red shells. Let's see who's in front of me. Aha! Good job hitting that. Green shell. Who's behind me? Oh, I knew someone was gonna be hitting that. Oh, there's my two bananas. Again, no one hits them. They, 
I, I, in fact, they dis they get destroyed. Most of my bananas actually got destroyed by shells instead of hit by people. They've done more than help me, but you know it's whatever. Uh, that was a bad decision. I let go of that. Ah, ah, ah. At least we get three power ups. Let's see how we do here. It was my fault. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's not Daisy's fault. I'm so stupid. Why did I release that banana right when I'm gliding, right when Petey Piranha throws a red shell? Are you kidding me? How dumb am I? Sometimes I could be the lowest IQ Mario Kart player in some occasions, and then other times I could be the highest IQ with winning a Kart Pro three straight first places. Wow. Okay. It's telling me I gotta do it again. Third time's the charm. Never know what might happen. I think that's what happened in New York Minutes, if I remember. We won it third time's the charm, but let's see how we do in Singapore Speedway. It's been a very difficult ride. Consider the fact that I've made some foolish mistakes too along the way. How did no one hit that? Oh, someone hit that though. Okay, let's not release the power up like we did last time. Oh, ho, ho. that's what you get for being behind me, Petey Piranha. Oh no, you got a slipstream. You know what I got? I got a super horn, and you just got ba bam. Oh, you lost the combo just like that? Are you serious? Yeah, whatever. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? You have got to be kidding me! This race has so much bullshit! A blue so right when I'm gliding, too! Oh, we got a bullet mill. Let's see how we do here. You've got to be kidding me! That blue shell fucking wrecked my placement! Holy cow! Singapore Speedway now just became my least favorite track. I don't hate Singaporeans or the city. This track just fucking sucks! God! When I try to do good, a blue shell strikes. Like an airstrike. God, that sucks. Heck, I would have gotten a better score than my last score if I had gotten first place. But no shit, a fucking blue shell will wreck my ass. Singapore Speedway T has not gone well. The second time I tried playing this track, I released my red uh, my protection too soon and somebody red shelled me from behind. Poor timing, that was my fault. But then the third one was a blue shell. And then here we are, keeping playing races because of MF and blue shells ruining our day again. We're back to those days where blue shells are bitches. <sighs> as much as I like this uh, track and its uh, arrangement, from the standpoint of someone playing it for the first time. These CPUs are just cracked. Like, for real cracked. Like, they're just so active. Like, literally, like, they're playing like lunatics. Okay, my steering is once again janky, and here we are. I'm once again behind the pack. Oh, no, he got red shield. All right, let's get some power-ups. One banana ain't it, but, you know, they'll probably protect us from one obstacle. Even though there are people right behind her ass, which is the problem. It's such a tight track, with a lot of change of momentum. Nope. Not today. Ah, uh, once again, a low IQ play. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. That was very stupid of me, but whatever. Doesn't need to be pretty. It just matters 
if you pass the line before anybody else. And that's what we did. And with four tries, we have beaten Singapore Speedway. T. That race had a lot of dynamic of emotions, but we pulled through. And with that, that is a wrap of my five favorite tracks that we played in the Night Tour. Thank you guys for watching. That was a fun five races, even though Singapore Speedway gave me some problems and some anger issues, as you could probably tell <laughs> in that last time we played. But we did it. We pulled through. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for future content. Subscribe to the channel, please.